Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Mystery Box Function Challenge. Well, it's a Friday, and that means the challenge is especially challenging. So inside this purple mystery box, there is some challenging mystery math. You can pause this video, find the link in the description, and get to this page where you can put in as many numbers as you like in the top and see how they're transformed as they come out the bottom. Use that as information to help you figure out what is inside this mystery box. When you think you've got it, come on back, watch the rest of the video, and see if I get what you get. All right, let us begin. I think I'm going to start with a zero, as usual. So zero gives us one. Okay, a one. So one gives us a two. So far it looks like a line, but so do any two points. Let's try a two. And two gives us a four. Okay, so maybe this is a parabola that's just been raised off the the x-axis by one, so a plus one at the end, and looks kind of shallow uh, or wide, so maybe there's a multiplier here we have to figure out. That could be it. Let's see if um, there are uh, symmetrical points on the other side of the y-axis. So let's put in a negative one. Okay, so maybe we haven't reached the vertex yet. So negative one gives us one half. Let's try a negative two. Oh, negative two gives us 0.25. Let's try negative three. Oh, and that gives us negative, or sorry, 0.125. Hmm, so it seems like we're getting closer and closer here. Is this parabola ever going to turn up? I think I'm going to try something really far out. Let's put in a nine, uh, sorry, a negative nine, really far out uh, on the on the left here. And that is, wow, it's almost 0, 0, 0.0019. So it looks like we keep getting closer and closer to that x-axis. So that x-axis might be an asymptote, so a line that the, the function never quite reaches. Interesting. Um, so that is definitely not a parabola. This is not a quadratic. Let's try one or two more on the other side. We've got plenty of points now, but let's, let's see what it continues to do on the right. So maybe we'll put in a 3. And a 3 gives us 8. Hmm, seems to be going up really fast. It seems to be going up faster and faster, actually. Let's try a 4. And a 4 gives us 16. All right, so can you see what this is doing? Do the numbers give you any clues? Have you seen this shape before? This might be a really difficult one. So I think what I'm going to do is make a little chart of some of these values. So um, let's start with 1. So 1 gives us 2. 2 gives us 4. And uh, 3 gives us 8. And 4 gives us 16. So what I want us to look at is these numbers on the right, the, the y values. What do you notice about those? And the thing that jumps out to me is that these are powers of 2. 2 is 2 to the first power. 4 is 2 to the second. This is 2 to the third, 8. And 2 to the fourth is 16. So I think we actually have an exponential function. And you'll notice this 1, 2, 3, 4 are these numbers right here. And that's our x value. So I think f of x is 2 to the x power. And this kind of function is called an exponential function. Maybe you've seen that before and knew this right away. And maybe you haven't seen it at all. Um, so when you put the, the variable up in the exponent, that's an exponential function. I think we should test this with one other point um, just to demonstrate how this works. So let's try, let's try negative 2 and see if we get 0.25. So 2 to the negative 2 power. What does that mean? Well, the, I usually think of these in two steps. The negative flips the fraction upside down. And we don't have a fraction right now, but I can write this as 2 over 1. So if I take the negative sign and apply it, I get 1 over 2 instead. And the negative sign then goes away, and I, but I've still got the 2 that I haven't done. And now to, to raise this to the second power, I square both parts. 1 squared is 1, and 2 squared is 4. And I get 1 fourth, and that is 0.25. And you could try this with some of these other points. You should get the right values. I think we've got it. Let's go ahead and, and reveal this. Yes, this is 2 to the x power, so an exponential function. Let's go ahead and graph that as well. 
and you can see that beautiful sweeping curve that starts out really slowly on the left and growing very very slowly and then just shoots up and off the graph to the right well how did that go was that a challenging one for you today or were you familiar with exponential functions and you kind of got that easily let me know thanks everybody